Hey folks, Marty Noyke from Impact Snap. I'm coming to you from the Mike Bender Golf Academy in Lake Mary, Florida. We are in his workout room. We're gonna do a little bit of talk today about how to make a backswing where your spine, your axis stays in one place and we learn how to make a giant turn. simple things. I'm uh, taking my visor, flipping it over backwards. I want you, you're going you're gonna to be able to watch this from behind. Simple little drill. Get around five, six inches away from the wall. Tilt your forehead forward. Put your hat against the wall and start practicing turning your right shoulder right behind you as far as you can take it. If I were going to turn my right hip and shoulder, note on my left leg, the left foot has come off the ground, my left knee, left femur go internal when that happens. Great little exercise to learn how to start your downswing because boy, I want to see some separation of those femurs starting your downswing. What that'll do, that'll get the left side of your pelvis to tilt which now when I plant and start to rotate, now I can push off. If my head were just staying in one place, the benefit of doing this is you'll really get a sense for what your spine is doing in a golf swing. The spine is doing three different things in a golf swing. Because we start by being tilted forward, the spine goes into extension bends to the side and turns. We don't see it like that because we're basically good players in order to stay in their A-frame. They're doing all three things blended equally at the same time. If I saw a player turn to the side and I saw his head move, I would easily be able to say, okay, let's get more extension, more side bend, and then keep turning. And you'll see that that leaves me right in the center. If I learn then to make that turn and attach my arms, boy, now it makes it real easy for my arms to stay long up here. If I happen to make a turn and I'm not aware that my head is moving back, because my spine is still bent forward, my arm can only go to about right here until I go into extension. Now my arm can stay straight all the way up to here. So understanding how your spine works and how uh, you turn in a golf swing, that will definitely get you uh, in shape to make bigger turns, more productive turns uh, for this coming golf year. Note that the downswing turn is very different than the backswing turn. Backswing turn, I can really just turn my spine. Basically, that'll turn my left knee in, my right shoulder will go behind me, my right hip will start to turn behind me, and I've used my spine to move both my clavicles and my pelvis. In the downswing, we actually want more energy. So we're going to add a little bit of knee flex, then pivot. Now I've got more force into the ground. And now with the rotation, I've got a kind of a rotational force and I've got an up and down force. Because I flexed both knees, that increased the pressure there, I increased the turn. Now I've got all this leverage to push up with and continue turning. So put your head up against the wall, simple drill for you to really start feeling what your pelvis doing, what are your clavicles doing, and you'll feel how your spine can really wind up, ribs up, spine is in extension. Head stays on the wall, ribs up, spine is again in extension. I'm Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap, coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort Casino. Please hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell, and you'll get notices every time we put out a video. Leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you.